There are different names, uh, as Professor Dalmi has said. Uh, people call Nautanki Swan, that's the older name. Of course, Nautanki. And then also Bhagat. Bhagat are religious Nautankis. Nautanki is the same kind of singing, same genre, uh, same type of singing, but the theme changes from secular to religious. And uh, uh, there are many Bhagats that happen in Mathura and Vrindavan. You have heard of Mathura Vrindavan, right? Yeah. Birthplace of Krishna. Uh, every year my father goes, even now, to perform in a Bhagat. And I also sometimes accompany him. And also Sangeet, which literally means musical. So that's the Hindi word for musical. So people refer to Nautanki with various names. And audiences range from few hundreds to 50,000, more than 50,000. So, only thing I can compare this with is the rock shows, maybe like right? Woodstock Festival or something like that, right? uh, uh, that you have so much crowd. But this happened only after microphones came. Right? So, 50,000, you know, there's no way you could throw your voice to 50,000 people if there were no microphones. But pre microphones also, there were like thousands of people. And my father has son, a pre microphone age, and he would throw his voice to at least a mile. Yes, yes. In the, in, in the night, you know, uh, when everything is quiet and you're singing, it would, it would carry so far. Uh, and he had this voice culture. He would cross the harmonium. Uh, do you know about harmonium? You will see it uh, soon. Harmonium is kind of a keyboard. So he would cross all the notes. His voice will go above and beyond harmonium, that keyboard. So that kind of voice culture uh, these people used to develop. So they used to go to a well. Do you know well? Where you get water from, right? Yeah. So they will go to a well, a nearby uh, well, uh, to a village, and then they will sing. They will go like this. They will put their mouth inside the well, right, from the top, and they will riyaz or do practice for hours to develop that voice culture. Because it, it reverb, reverbs, right, the, the sound. So it's a very good place to do riyaz. Uh, the roots of Nautanki uh, go back to Prithviraj Chauhan's time. And uh, Vasudhaji very rightly pointed out in the late 19th century, because Czech books, uh, those uh, books with the script of Nautanki plays came out. Because printing press was introduced in India in the 19th century uh, by British. So after that, of course, the history became clear of Nautanki. Right? You, could, you could see the actual scripts. But even before that, it was performed for a long time. And uh, I have talked to many uh, scholars of Nautanki, and uh, the tradition says that it goes at least to Prithviraj Chauhan, where when Alha was written, another folk form. And even before that, people uh, think that it was being practiced. But this was the major art form, right? There was no Bollywood, so it was Nautanki everywhere. This was the major art form, entertainment form of Northern India. You can see uh, a chapbook, uh, a not and key script. Uh, this, these started to be published uh, in uh, 1920s, but they continued to 1980s actually. Uh, they were in demand. Uh, you can see the date uh, in the bottom right. It says 1986. Yeah, this is a reprint, of course, of 1920s script. This is how it looked inside. This is actual not and key script. Uh, with all the compositions. But there's no, uh, you, you would see that there's no music written, there's no score. The score was uh, passed on from one generation to another just orally. Right? So you had to go to a guru, like all other Indian music, right? even now. Like you want to listen, uh, learn classical, you have to go to a guru. Right? So uh, not much written. And I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to write a book where I can actually give uh, uh, scores. Uh, so that people, our generations, our later generations, can actually uh, read them and sing Mount uh, Parsi theater that Professor Dalmia was referring to, uh, Parsi theater was urban theater that developed uh, in late 19th century and also early 20th century. It borrowed a lot from Nautanki and it was very popular in cities. And Nautanki also got something from it. So this is a Parsi theater script. And you can see, I mean, the themes are very similar. The Nautanki was about Alla Udal, Indal Haran, and the 
the first one was Sati Savitri. All these legends, right, mythological stories. Uh, Sati Savitri, that, that Satyavan Savitri, have you heard anyone? Right, okay. Um, and uh, this is about Laila Majnun, this Parsi theater, written by Munshi Dil, uh, very famous Parsi theater writer. So there were these similar art forms, uh, well, not very similar, but they were exchanging a lot with each other. Maybe I'm going too much detail, but I thought it might be interesting. Uh, so again, I have said this all night performance, not like you used to perform, like in Shakespeare time, like theater used to go for many hours, right? And there, would, you, there used to be interludes in between, where a comic character will come in and do something. In the same way, Nautanki will go on, the main, main storyline will go on for eight hours, and in between there would be interludes where a joker will come in and do something funny, make fun of the authority. So whoever the authority is, like in Sultanata, the authority is the British police officer who is trying to get Sultanata. So I really like what Dr. Catherine Hansen um, has done in, in her book. Uh, she has used Bastin's uh, theory. Uh, and Bastin, uh, this famous scholar, uh, uh, analyzed medieval Europe's uh, carnival. And he said that in carnival, what used to happen was that people would uh, dress up somebody as the king. And then they will mock the king. They will like put like, a black paint or something, throw something on him and because they were so, I mean this was anger, right? This was their arms against the king, against the authority and they will use that space of carnival where nobody can touch them. Hmm? This is carnival. This is like holy of India, right? Yeah. Everything is good. <laughs> so, in, in a northern key place, usually they do like this. They, they make fun of the authority and you know, not in case for rural people. So when you are disempowered at many levels, you get you get great satisfaction out of the performance. Right? So when you see a British police officer, which was being mocked in public, make made fun of, how many times can you could you actually do it in, in colonial India? Right? I mean, it was so hard to do that. Right? Uh, he was out there. Huh? So, Nautanki was really, in, this, in that sense, represented ordinary culture. It, it gave a window to people to express themselves. And of course, it was a lot of entertainment also. Uh, 